Does this look French to you? Actually, it should. The Lexus design team spent a few weeks on the French Riviera looking for inspiration before they drew the new SC430. And it worked. This new hardtop convertible is very stylish. And with a powerful V8, impeccable road manners and refinement, the new SC is a stunning achievement. There has never been a Lexus that has looked like this. And there's never been a Lexus that could do this. Within 25 seconds, the top comes down automatically and neatly stores in the trunk. Lexus is not the first car maker to introduce a flip-top hardtop, but as a first for Lexus, they have done a nice job. Storing a convertible top in the back leads to problems with trunk space, and this is the reason for the longer tail section, which seems a little out of place. But the optional spoiler does a nice job of rounding out the lines. Lines that resemble Mediterranean yachts, according to Lexus. From bow to stern, the SC430 is a complete departure from anything Lexus has drawn before. We editors at the magazine are split on the styling, however. Some say it resembles the Audi TT, while others are calling the styling a bit tubular. But there's always some aspect of every new design that takes a while to get used to. We'll just say the jury's still out on the new boating look. But this cruiser stands on 18-inch wheels wrapped in 40 series Dunlops. Up front, the power comes from a 4.3-liter V8 with four overhead cams and 32 valves, putting out 300 horses, 325 pound-feet of torque. Once that power runs through a five-speed electronically controlled transmission, the SC430 is propelled from zero to 60 in 6.1 seconds and onto a top speed of 156 miles per hour. Take this Lexus out to the back roads and you're taking corners at serious speed. And Lexus has done a great job ensuring you'll stay on the road with four-wheel independent suspension and a vehicle skid control system that senses if you get out of line and applies a spot of brake to get you back on track. Just enough to keep you out of trouble if you misjudge a turn. But even with the system switched off, the SC430 is remarkably stable and goes where you want it thanks to progressive rack and pinion steering. Lexus also helps the SC430 stop effectively. With 12-inch discs on all corners, the SC takes only 175 feet to pull down from 70 with very little fade. Then you're back up and running, and with the top up, the SC430 has eliminated practically all noise, vibration, and harshness in traditional Lexus fashion. At highway speeds, the SC430 is comfortable, fast, and smooth through the gears. Even with the top stored, there's little noise other than the wind rushing past your head at 70 miles per hour. Inside, the SC430 is typical Lexus luxury. The driver and first passenger have gorgeous leather-wrapped seats with good bolstering, and the driver faces a well-placed array of gauges. There's burled walnut covering the dash and steering wheel, and Lexus Luxury extends to the wood-covered, powered panel that hides the stereo controls. There's more wood for the shifter that controls the five-speed auto transmission, and then there's the back seat, or the lack thereof. Theoretically, this Lexus is a 2 plus 2, but with the driver and primary passenger seats placed in a comfortable position, there is no legroom. And if anyone decides to ride in back, there is no room up front. The back seat is far better suited to carrying packages than people. However, the headrests in the back do serve a purpose. Where else would they have put the car's small glass wind blocker? The SC430 starts at a base price of 59000 Add the spoiler, and you're at 59440 as tested. Some serious dollars to get the Euro look of a road-going Mediterranean yacht. The new flagship from Lexus in Japan. Is that a world car or what? That $60,000 price tag is about what we expected from Lexus, but that is a bargain number compared to the primary competition, the new Mercedes SL, that's due in about a year, that will also be a flip-top convertible with a V8, 
But the price from Germany is expected to be nearly twice the sticker on this car. There's really no news in that. Lexus has always done European-style quality for thousands less. And for the new SC, they've done it once again.